Welcome friends to this third lecture of week 9 of soil science and technology and uh, in this lecture we will be uh, covering this topic of uh, conservation tillage in details. Obviously, we have you know talk about the conservation tillage in our uh, in our tillage lecture uh, uh, earlier in this uh, course and uh, we will be discussing in details about this conservation tillage and different ways in conservation tillage. So, in this week you have already learned about soil erosion and land degradation. We talked about what is land degradation and how soil erosion takes place, what is the definition of soil erosion and what are the different agents of soil erosion. We talked about water based erosion, there are mechanics of water erosion and different types of water erosion like uh, splash erosion, then uh, we talked about uh, the sheet erosion and then uh, gully erosion and then uh, real erosion. Remember that in the splash erosion is basically detachment of soil particles uh, with the help of uh, falling raindrops uh, because rainfall has a certain kind of uh, energy which ultimately detaches the soil particles from the brick clods and uh, then it moves away with the flow uh, with the flowing water and ultimately removing a sheet of soil from the uh, from the ground and uh, which ultimately causes the sheet erosion and then uh, sheet er and finally water will move through small channels ultimately uh, you know eroding all the soil particles ultimately you know this is called the real erosion which are basically characterized by small channels this erosion er you know real erosion can be rectified using the cultivation of uh, different types of you know for different types of crops however the soil is lost and in the extreme form of erosion is called the gully erosion when the soil is permanently lost then we talked about different ways to control the soil erosion we started with the check dams and we started and we talked about the contour cropping contour strip, strip cropping and uh, you know intercropping then crop rotation then alley cropping and then we talked about uh, different conservation tillage also and uh, also we talked about how to calculate this erosion uh, using the universal soil loss equation and uh, what are the different factors of soil universal soil loss equation how we can calculate those factors uh, you know uh, if you remember rainfall erosivity erodibility factors then uh, the k factors and then uh, uh, length and slope factors, then uh, management practice factor, support practice factors. So, the, all these factors, what are their importance and how we are calculating them, and ultimately, what is uh, revised universal soil loss equation and how we can calculate that. Uh, we showed you a side by you know, a, example where we used both. Uh, Soil universal soil loss equation as well as revised universal soil loss equation side by side to calculate the amount of soil lost. So, uh, this uh, conservation tillage will be talking about different uh, you know different different types of conservation tillages which generally is being practiced in different countries as well as in India and also I will be showing you some trends how they affect in different soil properties. So, the concepts which we will cover here are basically uh, what is the conservation tillage and then classification of the conservation tillage, then erosion control by conservation tillage and finally effect on different soil properties by conservation tillage. Remember that conservation tillage is one of the important way of uh, preventing soil erosion. So, nowadays it has been it is a, it, 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 this conservation agriculture or conservation tillage is uh, you know is getting wide publicity by different countries and different environmental agencies. So, what is conservation tillage? So, remember that awareness about increasing erosion risk, decline soil quality, high fuel and labor cost and availability of wide spectrum herbicides for weed control all of these are you know have led to the development of alternative tillage systems. So, first of all the soil quality there is a continuous reduction in soil quality as a result of erosion. There is continuous increasing the erosion risk because of 
uh, you know, renewable of organic carbon from the soil or organic matter from the soil, high fuel and labor cost and availability of wide spectrum herbicides for weed control. So, all these ultimately are uh, you know ultimately shows that we need an alternative tillage practice or alternative tillage system than that of conventional tillage system. Because uh, now the tillage practice is becoming very very costly. So, this system basically envisages that minimum disturb, disturbance of the soil. So, ultimately what is that alternate tillage practice? This alternate tillage practice is nothing but the conservation tillage and uh, this alt, you know this conservation tillage basically it's, you know it basically uh, envisages that it should create minimum disturbance of soil and maintenance of some residues at the surface and initially and initially this system was known as the minimum tillage remember that initially we know uh, this system was known as the minimum tillage however in 1977 soil conservation service of usda changed this term is to into conservation tillage because we are conserving a certain amount of plant residues or uh, you know crop residues in the soil in this type of tillage operation. So, conservation tillage is defined as a form of non-inversion tillage that retains the protective amounts of residue mulch of the surface throughout the year. Remember that this is very important term non-inversion that means in the general conventional tillage practices we invert the soil exposing the soil so that all the uh, you know you know the lower portion of the soil get exposed or the subsoil get exposed. So, we are basically the conservation tillage is a kind of non-inversion tillage and ultimately it retains a protective amount of residue mulch on the surface throughout the year. So, how we will see. So, what is the classification of the con you know, con conservation tillage system? So, to be considered as a conservation tillage system, a system must maintain enough plant residues on the soil to cover at least 30 percent, remember this is a very very important term, at least 30 percent of the cover, soil cover has to be there on the ground surface after the planting. So, this is very important term. So, tillage system if you if you see what are the different, uh, different types of uh, conservation tillage, there are uh, around 6 uh, around, around around 6 types of different types of tillage system under the conservation tillage we call we call it no till and then vertical or turbo till then ridge till then strip till then mulch till and reduce till so let us discuss them one by one so in case of no till practice obviously soil undisturbed prior to planting so we are you know you know we, we don't disturb the soil and seeds placed in narrow slots cuts through residues and slots soil and slot is close to only 1 to 10 percent of the soil surface are exposed so it is a very very less amount of soil surface is exposed in case of conventional tillage most of the soil gets exposed or all of the soil get exposed and However, in this type of tillage when while we are exposing only 1 to 10 percent there is chance of weed infestation in the residues which are already left in the field. So, weed control usually you know done by herbicides as and cover crops residue mulch. So, this is called the no till system we will discuss this later on. Another is called the vertical or turbo till and it is basically high speed shallow disturbance implement with two gangs and a forward facing rolling blades and either straight or waved you know spaced about 20 to 25 centimeter apart said to disturb vertical slides of the soil about 5 centimeter wide and 4 to 8 centimeter deep as well as chop up surface residues. So, basically this turbo till helps in chop up the surf you know the surface residues as well as disturb vertical slices of the soil about 5 centimeter wide and 4 to 8 centimeter deep. So, this is called what that is why it is called vertical or turbo till. So, it is a specialized instrument. Third one is called ridge till. So, soil undisturbed prior to planting just like the no till system which is done on ridges to 10 to 15 centimeter higher than row middles and uh, you know uh, you know the ridge and the furrow system you have must have seen the ridges and furrow system in the in the crop field and residues move aside and incorporated on about one third of the soil surface and herbicides and cultivation 
to control the weeds. So, this is called ridge till. The fourth one is steep till system where soil is also undisturbed due to planting and narrow and shallow tillage in rows using rotary tillers. So, in the rows uh, they, they we generally per, they generally perform narrow and shallow tillage using rotary tillers in row chisel etcetera and about 25 to 50 percent of the soil surface is still at planting time and also herbicides and uh, in cultivation to control the weeds. So, you can see here here 25 to 50 percent of the soil surface is still at the planting time in case of strip till. However, in case of no till system there is only 1 to 10 percent of the soil surface get exposed. So, uh, mulch till is basically soil surface disturbed by tillage prior to planting, but at least 30 percent of the ground is covered with the residues of the previous crop. So, tools such as chisel, fill cultivator, disc and sweeps are generally used uh, example stubble mulch basically stubble mulch. So, after a rice crop wherever there is a field you know we go for uh, sowing the wheat in a rice wheat cropping system, we you know retain the soil, we retain the rice stubbles in the field so that it can cover at least 30 percent of the ground. So, this is an example of mulch till and also herbicides and cultivation too, we do the herbicide spraying as well as cultivation to control the weeds. So, finally, reduce till any other tillage and planting system that keeps at least 30 percent of the soil surface covered by residues. So, you can see these are the 6 different you know process under conservation tillage again starting from no tillage system where the soil is undisturbed prior to planting and seeds are placed directly in the narrow slots cuts to the residues in the soil and in this case only 1 to 10 percent soil is exposed as compared to the conventional tillage and obviously, when there is a only you know 1 to 10 percent soil is exposed, rest of them are covered and there will be chances of infestation of different types of weeds and these will be basically controlled by you know herbicides as well as cover crop residue mulch. In case of vertical till again these are the specialized equipments which creates the cuts in vertically in the soil uh, and ultimately chopping the residues and also ridge till basically its soil is uh, again undisturbed prior to planting and which is done on ridges to 10 to 15 centimeter higher than row middles. And the strip till also the same you know the same uh, soil is undisturbed prior to planting and 25 to 50 percent of the soil surface is still at the planting time uh, you know and narrow and shallow tillage in rows uh, is basically done using the rotary tiller and also here we are using herbicides and cultivation to control the weeds. Finally, mulch weeds uh, you know uh, soil surface uh, disturbed by tillage prior to planting and 30 percent of the ground is covered with the residues. Uh, I gave you an example of rice heat uh, cropping system and how we, we are cover, cover we are creating the stubble mulch and here also we are using the herbicides and cultiva cultivation to control the weeds and finally, reduce till which is any other form of uh, conservation tillage or any other tillage system that keeps at least 30 percent of the soil surface covered with this system. So, guys this is very important slide and uh, try to remember the differences between these uh, 6 different practices under uh, reserve conservation tillage uh, which will be helpful in your exam and uh, these are you know, each of these are having their own benefits and these are very much effective for reducing the soil uh, erosion. So, let us see side by side an example of conventional tillage versus conservation tillage. You can see the left picture shows the conservation tillage conventional tillage system and the right picture shows the conventional uh, conservation tillage system. So, in the conventional inversion tillage uh, system you can see a moldboard plow you know inverts the upper soil horizon just like here you can see the upper soil horizon is getting uh, inverts. So, burying all the plant residues and producing a bare soil surface. So, when we are using in the conventional tillage a moldboard plow it is basically inverting the whole soil and ultimately uh, you know mixing the residues uh, you know burying all the plant residues and producing a bare soil surface and when there is a production of the bare soil surface obviously, there is a chance of more erosion and uh, here in the right side you can see this is a conventional tillage practice where we are using a chisel plow and one type of conservation it is a basically one type of conservation tillage implement and 
it basically steers the soil but leaves a good deal of crop residues on the soil surface it is so it is a chisel plow so it is a, it is cultivating the soil but at the same time it is you know it is leaving a uh, sizable amount of residues over the soil surface so this is the difference between conservational tillage and conservation tillage or inversion tillage and non inversion tillage in the definition of the conservation tillage we talked about that uh, the conversion uh, convention, uh, conservation tillage is a kind of non inversion tillage so you can see here basically in the convention in the conventional tillage we are uh, you know burying all the residues however in the conservation tillage we are keeping the residues at the surface we are not burying them into the directly into the field so that they can uh, you know reduce the soil erosion and also produce some other beneficial effects so zero tillage we talked about zero tillage system so in no till system one crop is planted directly in the residue of a cover crop or a previous cash crop with only a narrow band of soil is disturbed uh, you know you remember 1 to 10 percent is on the soil is basically disturbed so no till system leave virtually all of the residues on the soil surface providing up to 100 percent cover and nearly eliminating erosion losses because all the soils are covered so there is you know literally no chance of removing or eroding the soil because there is no bare soil surface so the rolling furrow opens uh, openers basically cuts a slot through the residues and soil into the into which the seed is placed at a depth set by the depth wheel so you can see here this is basically uh, you know a zero tillage uh, and here you can see there is a depth wheel which is maintaining uh, and you know uh, which is maintaining the depth of seed placement and it basically open and this is a furrow opener which opens the furrow and uh, you know and ultimately pushes the seed at a particular depth and this operation basically is, you know you can see in this picture the zero tillage is basically done directly over the residues of the previous crop so we are not inverting the soil we are not mixing the residues we are not burying the residues we are directly placing the seeds in small furrows created by this instrument and we are directly uh, placing the seeds directly over the uh, when the when the 100 percent of the soil is covered by the uh, previous crop residues so this is what you what we call zero tillage system and then uh, let us see the effect of the tillage system on the percentage of land surface covered by the crop residues you can see here uh, just uh, you know you know we have taken this example from a um, research study so you can see here the number of fields in case of mold board were 30 3 chisel was 20 and in case of disc we consider 165 in case of field cultivator there was only 13 we talk you know we considered and in case of ridge till that is 2 in case of shallow vertical turbo till we consider only 14 in case of no till we consider 30. So, let us see the percentage of field with residues cover greater than 115 percent, 20 percent, 25 percent and 30 percent. So, in case of mold board system, mold board tillage system you can see the percentage of field with residue cover greater than 15 percent is only 3. Okay. So, percentage of field with residue cover uh, greater than 15 percent is only 3 and uh, in case of uh, chisel uh, greater than 15 percent uh, is 40 and uh, so 40 percent of the field are having uh, you know cover greater than 15 percent and then 15 percent of the field are having cover greater than 20 percent and uh, 5 percent of the field are having uh, cover greater than 25 percent whereas uh, no field are having greater than 30 percent of the uh, no, no uh, cover. So, again in case of mold board plow only 3 percent of the field are having uh, residue cover greater than 15 percent and none of the field are having uh, greater than 20 percent uh, or 25 percent or 30 percent uh, field cover. In case of disc uh, you know mesh system 40 percent of the field are having uh, residues cover for greater than 15 percent. 20 percent of them 
are having residue cover greater than 20 percent and only 9 percent are having cover greater than 9 percent and only 4 percent are having uh, you know cover greater than, you know, residue cover greater than uh, 30 percent. And then fill cultivator, uh, in case of fill cultivator 46 percent are having greater than 15 percent of residue cover, 23 percent having greater than 20 percent of fill cover, 0 percent whereas, no you know there is no fill cover uh, beyond 25 percent. In case of ridge till or till plant you can see 100 percent of the uh, of the field are having greater than 15 percent uh, residue cover, 50 percent of them are having greater than 20 percent uh, of residue cover, 50 percent are having greater than 25 percent of the field cover, however, none of them are having greater than 30 percent. In case of shallow or vertical turbo till, you can see 100 percent of having uh, you know uh, uh, you know shallow vertical or turbo till, uh, you know 100 percent of the um, uh, field are having residue cover greater than 30 percent because we are keeping all the residues just by chopping them using this uh, vertical or turbo till. So, we are maintaining most of them in the over the soil surface and in case of no till you can see similarly we are keeping 100 percent which is above 30 percent. So, you can see note the conventional mode board plow system provided essentially no cover while no till and planting on a ridge, ridge till provided the best cover. So, um, also uh, you know so, this is very very important this ridge till system and this no till system is also very very important and also this shallow vertical and turbo till is also important. However, we are not considering because this has some disadvantages, we will consider that uh, in a couple of slides. So, what are the adaptation of these technologies by the farmers while we are talking about since long time about the utility of this uh, conservation agriculture and how it is important especially in Indian scenario, we need to know about the you know percentage of its adoption because that is important. So, you can see this is an adoption of conservation agriculture mainly high residue tillage or no till on farms of most of the world has lagged far behind than in that in Australia, North and South America. So, you can see here the conservation agriculture uh, you know area wise it is highest in you, you know in USA followed by Argentina, Brazil and Australia and then Canada and uh, you know some amount in Russia and China. However, you know, and so, so, some other place you know Paraguay, Kazakhstan however, you can see, you cannot see you know the name of India in this list. So, the adoption by of this improved system of of this improved cultivation technology or alternative cultivation technology by the Indian farmers are uh, lagging far behind and that is why we need to as an agriculturist we need to emphasize the need of this conservation tillage to our farmers. So, that they can not only the maintain the inherent soil fertility, but also they can help in reducing the soil erosion and also help in resisting the soil degradation. This is very becoming very, very important as uh, you know as there is a continuous decrease in soil productivity in many areas of Indian subcontinent. And so, we talked about uh, veggie, you know vertical and turbo tillage. So, some long term or no till farmers began to perceive thick surface accumulation uh, you know of crop residues to be an obstacle to incorporation of livestock manures and lime and to soil warming and seed placement in spring. So, how this concept of turbo till and vertical with uh, a vertical or turbo tillage uh, you know evolves those farmers which, which are performing long term uh, no tillage practice they thought that you know when there is a you know continuous thick surface accumulation of of residues because they are not removing those residues, they can put an obstacle in the to incorporation of the livestock manure because that is also important. We are also advocating the integrated nutrient management where we are supporting the incorporation of different types of livestock manures and also sometime lime application for you know and to soil warming and seed placement in spring. So, that is these are very, very you know these are getting uh, problematic. So, the new type of so that is why a new type of high speed tillage implement designed to chop up the residues and to steer, but not invert the portion of the soil to shallow depth. So, that is why this turbo tillage concept came 
and there are you know in this in this machine the turbo tillage machine there are several sets of gangs of either smooth or fluted rolling knives or coulters we call them coulters and these basically disturb the soil mainly in a vertical rather than horizontal direction by producing hence the process is somewhere referred to as the vertical tillage remember that that's why we are calling it vertical tillage because it is chopping up or it is basically disturbing the soil or steering the soil vertically so uh, it disturbs basically 30% to 40% of the soil surface and uh, uh, turbo tilling may maintain some 30 to 80% of the residue coverage to protect from water erosion but also creates a high potential for tillage erosion because the high speed of the operation results in much soil being thrown away so you can see here this is a uh, turbo till and as a result of this turbo tilling you know a huge amount of uh, you know you know soil particles are being carried you know uh, are being basically thrown away uh, and basically this also can uh, you know uh, can cause the potential um, soil erosion so this is very very important so that's why uh, you know turbo tillage is considered sometime uh, not beneficial so let us consider one of the major issues nowadays in indian uh, in indian scenario so if you go to uh, different places of india you will see that burning of straw and air pollution which burning of straw of different you know different uh, residues so it is now become a you know very important topic from indian you know uh, from indian environment point of view because uh, you know the farmers in uh, several states uh, several states they used to burn their residues after the cultivation because they think that carrying cost of this uh, you know or processing cost of these residues or carrying cost of these residues to one place to another place is not economic so what they do they just burn away these residues and as a result of that huge amount of you know air pollution you know huge amount of particles generates and smoke generates which ultimately creates a uh, huge air pollution and this air pollution effect is very much you know prominent in our uh, capital region of new delhi which is creating you know and this air pollution is creating a huge amount of smog uh, you know wh which has been in the news for last couple of years so uh, to prevent this environmental air pollution we need to think about some alternative management practices so uh, we need to we need to we need to consider some alternative ways so that we can better manage these uh, residues so that's why a new instruments came that is called happy seeder you can see it is an happy seeder so this happy seeder is a tractor mounted machine that cuts and leaves the right straw and sows wheat into the bare soil and deposit the straw over the shown uh, area as mulch so it therefore allows farmers to sow wheat immediately after their rice harvest without the need to burn any rice residues for land preparation so that's the importance of uh, you know this conventional tillage i'm um, sorry conservation tillage and this conservation tillage can be done um, you know in a you know in a in a better 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 way using this happy seeder and this happy seeder can help in directly uh, you know sowing the wheat into the bare soil and deposit depositing the rice over the sown uh, over the sown area as mulch and thereby uh, removing the removing the chances or removing the uh, you know necessity to burn the rice residues so these conservation tillage can also be so uh, the, the the purpose of showing you the happy seeder is happy seeder could be a you know could be a decided you know can be a deciding tool for removing this air pollution uh, you know which is being created from this uh, burning of this uh, crop residues in several states so this is uh, you know helping in uh, conservation tillage so guys uh, let us wrap up uh, this lecture and in the last uh, lecture we will be trying to finish this conservation tillage and then we will be starting different as starting uh, discussing different aspects of uh, wind and tillage erosion and uh, i hope that you have learned several things in this lecture and uh, we have discussed in details about the conservation tillage and uh, uh, let us discuss more in our next lecture of week 9 until then thank you